I'm going to show you how to use a very handy little thing in uh, Microsoft Excel called VLOOKUPS. Um, and this really comes into its own when uh, we have to take one set of data um, and you can see here that this set of data is a scale out from a well-known retailer. Um, and a, a scale out is when um, they uh, allocate stock uh, from the centre and they send it to all stores. Um, we need to get that data into our distributors uh, format, template format, which looks like this. So you can see in the distributors template we've got a list of stores uh, down here. Um, in the order from the retailer we've got a list of stores here. Um, but they're not in the same order. Uh, Lord knows why, um, but this particular format is in uh, alphabetical order. This particular format is in store code order. Now we could do some sorting and matching and double checking um, to uh, to tally these two sets of data together. We could even manually hand type um, that data in, but lordy lord, we're not going to do that. Um, so let me show you a, a very swift and cute little way to do it. Um, highlight a cell here and I'm going to type equals V lookup Oops. and then open brackets and you can see that Excel as ever when you when you insert a function by using the equal sign and then um, a function that it recognises tells you exactly what to do next. So the first thing we need to do is select the lookup value. Well, both sets of data have the store code as um, as, a, as the identical bit of data, so we can match on this store code. So I've selected the lookup value, then if I press comma it goes to the uh, next bit of information that I need, and the table array means where do you want me to go and find this store code. So this is the table array here, I'm going to start from store code and I'm going to say, well, I want to find the store code, but the thing I'm really interested in is the quantity. So you can see this, I've selected that range there. I'm just going to press enter and that messes it up, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to go to the end of that there, press comma, column index number. Now, back here, uh, that means how many columns over from uh, the data that you're matching on is the data that you want to return. So we've got one, oops, two, three, four, five columns. So you see from store code which is column one, two, three, four, five. So in there I put the number five and then I put false at the end which I actually can't explain to you uh, why that is the case. Um, but you can see that the number 15 has been returned. So let's just double check that. We've matched on store code 644. Let's see if 644 exists here, 644, there we go, and tab over, you can see that's the number 15. So that's um, rather super, and now all we have to do of course is drag all the way down to the bottom, and this will do the same, this will do the same for every single uh, store code that we have there. Now, NA has come up when uh, it hasn't been able to match a particular number, but we'll just go through and we'll delete all of those. But isn't that so much quicker than finding each of these store codes and then manually typing it in? So I hope that's helpful.